how would you like to see a lunar crater right here on Earth? Winslow, Arizona, a small city located right on Interstate 40. This airport was designed by Charles Lindbergh, the first aviator to fly across the Atlantic Ocean non-stop. He created this airport as a refueling stop for airplanes in the 1929 mail service. Now what do you think that would look like? It would probably look something like this. This is Meteor Crater. Scientists believe it's 50,000 years old. It's 550 feet deep, 4,000 feet wide, and two and a half miles all the way around. Over the years, various people have tried drilling down into the bottom of the crater to see if they could find out more about what created the large hole. The crater was first discovered in 1871 and was initially thought to be an extinct volcano. It's now the first proven and best preserved meteor crater on Earth. Apollo astronauts were actually brought here to study the crater and to help better understand lunar craters. Now let's go see what the crater looks like from a bird's eye view. In 1957, Eugene Shoemaker was finally able to convince the scientific community that this crater was created by a meteorite and not by a volcano. You may remember the name Shoemaker. Because of his pioneering work with impact craters, the comet that impacted Jupiter in a spectacular display in July of 1994 was given the name Shoemaker-Levy 9. From a bird's eye view, it certainly looks much more like the impact craters on the moon than a volcano, doesn't it? But of course, back in the 1800s, when they came up with the volcano theory, they didn't have airplanes, so they didn't have our perspective. Down there you can see the visitor center and the observation deck where we were standing just a few minutes ago. Meteor Crater is on private property, about a 30 minute drive west of Winslow, Arizona, just off Interstate 40. There's a small entrance fee that supports the educational programs offered there. We hope you enjoyed the flight and will come fly with us again.